next we're gonna see where the substring is important we can apply it on this one so we execute it we can see so now they want the first two or three letters right they want the first letter they want the first two letter or first three letter whatever they want we can apply it on the this field and get the data so let's write that command for example they want the first three letters uh, from the surname or from the student name we write it select I should have done that 150 all right Fifteenth record there so let's go select substring s name from google.dbo.student close it and let's see if we get the first three letters of all these names ah three arg arguments see I forgot to mention you want three arguments this error it gave me a trouble in class so the, it, but it's a good clue whenever you're doing a lot of the built-in functions that uh, you will know because when you're do, especially when you're doing nested all right so surname we're gonna start at one we're gonna start at one and we want the first three letters and let's go If I execute it, you can see. So let's further enhance it to do side by side comparison. I just thought of that. My bad. All right. So let's do it. And write it. S name, comma, and substring. So this will be much better. Now you can see if the full name is Imran, but it's getting the IMR, Aslan, ASL, Osman, USM, Danish, DN. You get the idea so what if they want the just the first two letters we can get that as well two that will return the first two letters what if they just want one and one let's get the one get the idea so that's how substring work on a column.